It may not look like a typical classroom, but these grade 12 students are busy learning. This is the First Nations Fitness and Wellness Academy at E.D. Fian School in Saskatoon. The program offers Cree language classes and culturally based social studies, physical education, healthy living and spirituality courses. This program creates space for Indigenous youth to connect to who they are and perhaps move forward on a healing journey that probably finds itself um, beginning with residential schools and the assimilation processes that took place uh, throughout the history of Canada. If I say Aidan Sanderson at the Siyasin, that means my name is Aidan Sanderson. Aidan Sanderson has been in the program for four years. He says he now uses Cree in everyday life when he speaks to his teachers, friends and family. Sometimes my dad is like surprised because like he knows he didn't teach me that. One of Sanderson's classmates has also been attending since grade nine. He says he's always been traditional, but learning Cree has helped ground him. Recently, I went to a powwow, and it just really brought me back into my traditional self, which I really loved. Before coming here, Isabel Robin attended St. Francis, a Cree bilingual elementary school in Saskatoon. She says she's grateful to learn about her Indigenous history, unlike some of her ancestors. Our history was hidden for so long and it wasn't allowed to be learned. So now that I get to learn my culture, it, I guess I get to learn for the children that never got to learn their language and weren't allowed to like learn it or speak it. The program has evolved since it began in 2018 and it's adapted with the school's changes in population. Baptiste says the students are evolving too. There's almost a process of self-acceptance that has to take place. And when that happens, you can see the physical change, you can see the emotional change, you can see the spiritual change. All of a sudden, they're curious about who they are and they're proud of who they are. They, they stand a little taller, they walk a little prouder down the hallway. It's hoped the program will lead to higher graduation rates, healthier and happier kids, and a more positive learning atmosphere. Non-Indigenous students are also encouraged to sign up, to learn the language, and join their classmates on a cultural journey. Anna Mays CBC News, Regina.